Hi, it's Chris from Join. Just want to give you a quick video on how to use our takeoff software to do drywall uh, takeoff. So the first thing that I like to do is rename the actual page name. I call this one just drywall takeoff. I want to make sure I'm in the right metric. This is a metric plan, so we're going to change from US Imperial into metric, and I'm going to put the scale in. This one's 100, so that will do us quite nicely. Now, looking at this plan, I know there's a couple of different wall types. In here, we're going to have the bathroom and laundry are going to be wet areas, so that's going to be a different type of plasterboard. And then we have the main living areas uh, that are going to be a normal, a normal style. So I'm going to measure those two areas separately. We also have some elements here that the ceilings are all uh, raked. So I'll show you how we go about calculating that. And then we've got some quite large wide openings here. So I'll go through and how I approach this from a, from a takeoff perspective. There's a couple of tools that we can use. Um, the first being the square. I can zoom in here and just go and measure that as a, a rectangle shape. I'm just going to measure here and say so this is the laundry walls. Now what I've measured here is actually the area. So I can come in here to the settings and actually flip that into a perimeter measurement. Now you'll see that's converted into just the outside edge. This wall has a height, so we're going to put in 2.44 metres, which will then turn that into a square metre calculation. And the next thing I want to do is I'll keep the same colour. I'll go and measure the bathroom area. I'm going to do a similar tool, but this time I'm going to use a polygon. I'm just going to go measure around each corner, clicking on each corner and running right through, double clicking to finish. And now I've got the uh, bathroom area. Again, this is 2.44 and I want the perimeter only. And what you'll notice here is we've got two separate measurements. So what I can do here is actually rename this to be wet areas to make it a little bit more generic. If I go and rename this one here, you'll see that it's combined these measurements up for us now. So we've got two distinct areas, but it's been grouped up into one main measurement. So that's it for the wet areas. What I'm going to do now is just change to a different color and I'll go through and measure our main floor areas. For the bedroom, I'm going to go and use the polygon tool again and just start to measure around, finding my corners. I'll double click there to finish. Here's another bedroom. Now, if we go and rename these to wall linings, I'll copy that down. As long as we're using the same color and the same name, it's going to group it up automatically for us. Now, coming into the main living areas here, there's quite a lot of open space. So, what I'm going to do is actually change now to the line tool. And I'm going to measure just where I know these full walls are. So I'll measure it right through here, even though that's just an opening, it's not significant, so we can measure over that. And I'll go over this window as well, just to help with my waste factors. I'll double click that, all lining. Now this is a line tool, so it's, it's going to capture this separately. I'm just going to measure straight through that door as well. I'll measure over these door openings. Just so it gives me a little bit of wastage for the hampers there. Again, this is 2.44. This is 2.44. Minimize that down, minimize that down. 
Now over here, there's quite a large area, so I don't want to ignore it. So what I might just do is do another measurement coming through here. If I hold control, you see it's going to snap to the straight edges for me at 90 degrees, which is nice and handy. I'll measure that one, but instead of that being 2.44, I'm going to make that one 0 0.6, just so it gives me the top edge of that uh, piece of drywall there. Uh, that's pretty much it for um, how I approach doing drywall. Um, we've captured all our areas for the walls. What we now need to do, oh, sorry, we haven't actually converted this one into perimeter. So let me just flick that to perimeter. That's better. So we now got that as perimeter. We need, now need to capture the ceiling areas. So I'll grab a different color because I do want to separate this out in my report. Sorry about that. Put that back to the orange. The If you have an area highlighted and you change the color, it's going to change the color of the calculation. So we'll put that back. I'll now do the ceiling area. Now for this ceiling, I can just go ahead and use the square tool for in here. Ranked ceiling. Now this is going to be a 20, 25 degree or 25 degree roof pitch. So we can put in 25 degrees just there. And that's going to convert that into uh, allow for that pitch there, which is which is nice and handy. I'll also go and just use a polygon now to get the bedrooms. Again, this is a raked room, so we can keep the same color because I want this to all to be the same here. Again, 25 degrees in. And then this part of the room is just square, so I'll go and pick a different color. So we'll capture that separately as its unique shape. I'll go through and capture all my linen ceilings. And then the only other area we need to capture is, of course, the wet area. I'm just going to rename this wet area ceiling. It's going to be flat, so we don't need to add a pitch to it. Uh, I'll copy these two down so they group up. Okay, so that's all our measurements now for drywall. What we've done is we've, we've separated out the different wall types. We've taking different measurements where there's only partial wall coverage required and we've taken different measurements for the ceiling and we've allowed for the rake in the ceiling. We've added wall height where it's applicable so that we can turn the square meter, we can turn the lineal meterage calculation into square meters. And we've broken out and given each area a name and description so it makes sense when we export it into Excel. The next video I'll show you how we go through and turn this into a materialist uh, from the measurements we've taken.